What's goody? Welcome back. Hope I, everybody's staying safe, not catching the uh, Rona. First off, thank you everybody for all the support lately on my on my channel. All the, the the views have been going up, the watch time's been going up. Trust me, the support doesn't go unnoticed, even though I'm a small channel. But we're gonna. I know a lot of you guys are gonna find this interesting because people have been telling me that they've uh, enjoyed my videos on the PS5 and, and it's been changing their mind about whether they want to get the console or not. So I'm gonna keep covering these, um, keep you guys up to date because it's really interesting to me and I think a lot of you guys will be interested as well. So getting into this, I'm a little late. I understand this came out a couple of days ago, but Sony had dropped the, the U actual UI of the PS5. So basically what we're gonna be seeing when we turn on the console, when we boot up, or everything that, uh, the new features of the PlayStation 5 compared to the PS4. I've already seen it, so I'm just gonna break this down. So stick around to the end of the video, and we're gonna get right into it. So this first thing they have, which is one of the biggest changes to the PlayStation, is this control center. So you basically have these cards that pop up while you're playing the game, and you can basically do multitask and do things like uh, look at recent media, recent captures, recent... Um, things that you recorded, recent clips. Um, you can also look at levels, see your progress on the levels. You can also um, select a level, load right into it. And in this UI show that they, this UI revealed, it really shows how fast the PlayStation 5 is. Like you can see on the screen, he just clicked a whole different level and, and, and it loaded up in a second and a half, which is insane to me. And the level still shows you know, the gameplay, the game still shows right here in the background while you're doing other things on the screen, which I like because you don't have to sit and take the time to go back to the menu, lose your progress on the game or, or lose sight of the game trying to do other things. So I think that's really big. And, and with this SSD, you can see the speed, like you can see all the things you can do while your game is still right there on the screen. Like you can still see, you can see who's in your party. You can see, you know, your progress or whatever. Obviously it's a sack boy. But yeah, that's one of the biggest things. Like these, these, this control center is really dope. You can put a lot of picture in picture things. You can put, you know, gameplay. Um, they, there's help, there's help tips that they added. You can put these, these cards on the side while you're playing the game. You can put a lot of things um, on the side. So this card thing that they, that they added to the, the UI is probably one of the biggest things. Definitely one of the biggest things in my book because you can do a lot of, uh, pictures and pictures also the voice chat thing uh, the party chat thing so if you get an invite it pops up another little card in the corner instead of you know taking it from your screen you can click join from this card right here and and it takes you puts you right in, into the, the voice uh, the party chat so instead of clicking it and it going all the way to the menu you get a whole blue screen you got to click join you can't see your game no more you got to wait 45 minutes for it to load back up and, and get back to the game the ssd got you taken care of and these cards got you taken care of that's such a huge thing like these little cards makes it so much better bro for the playstation 5 and i like that i like that another thing you can do is if someone's in your party sharing their screen uh, uh, we already seen the screen share thing before where you could watch people play the games now the difference is, is with these cards you can literally put it as picture in picture and put it on the side you know put it basically wherever you want it to go um, and then you can just you can literally watch your friend play a game while you're playing a game if you want to that's not really a huge feature for me because I don't really care that much but I mean it's still, it's still a cool thing like the way that the system can run like this so another thing they did with with these cards if you if someone basically is inviting you to a to a game a, a different game that you're not that you're not playing already or someone's already in your party having a session and you want to join you can literally hit that card click join and get straight into the game and as you can see on the video the speed of the ps5 is really blowing me away how fast you can get into a whole nother game like quickly with that ssd you could literally be on a game and then hop into another game just like that. You don't have to do anything else. You don't need an invite like that. You could just join straight up. That's huge. That's the ease of access with these with these cards and everything is 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 really changing everything. Also, now if you take a screenshot and if you take a video, it now just pops up on the bottom of the screen. I like I like what they're doing with keeping the ability to keep your game open while you're doing multiple things, you know what I mean? You can, you can have your game on screen at all times, which is a big, big thing. I hate when the PS4 pulls me away from my game and I have to, to you know, look at a whole other screen to, you know, 
send a message, accept an invite, etc. Now, towards the end, now we get to look at the actual main um, screen of the PS5, the, the actual main menu, where you go when you boot it up, you know, compared to the, the you know, PS4 and, and previous generations. It's almost the same, you know what I mean? A lot cleaner looking, a lot more modern looking. Pretty much the same with your little icons and everything in a row. It's not, you know, that's that's Sony style, that's PlayStation style, but it's a lot cleaner looking, it's a lot faster looking, it's not too much clutter in your face, you know what I mean? Too much going on. So you got your games and your media in the top left. So, you know, it's very organized, very clean cut. Pretty much the same thing, explore page, you know, things like that, what's new. One big thing they did was move the PlayStation Store integrated into the console. Instead of you clicking store and waiting 45 minutes for it to open, you gotta load up the store, find the game, type it in, you're lagging. I mean, it's going slow, it's running slow. We're literally ditching all the, the, the trash from last gen. And we're going into next gen with, with a lot of improvements. So I'm glad the PlayStation Store is literally in the console you can scroll down and see games that's it you just scroll down and see the games you don't have to click it you don't have to open the store you don't have to wait you don't have to do anything so i like that that honestly a lot of people might not care about that but that is one of the biggest things that that really bugged me out with the store i hated you know loading up the store and trying to buy something so yeah and lastly before we end this video um another thing that it's not huge but it is cool that they changed party chats they said party chats are more than just a voice chat now so you can actually send screenshots into your party chats like you know when people are in there you can send a screenshot you can send a picture you can um you can send videos you can send clips invites whatever it's more than just a voice chat now so it's it's almost like a discord like a group chat type of thing so I, I think that's big because, I mean, I use party chats a lot with casuals and it's a lot, you know, easier to do things like that. Oh, before I forget, the controller has a built-in microphone so you can literally talk into the controller, literally talk into the controller instead of having to type on, on, the, uh, on the PlayStation. Instead of having to scroll left and right, up and down for these, the letters on the PlayStation, if you want to type a message, you can literally talk it to the controller and, and it goes text to, uh, speech to text. That's pretty much it, guys, though. I wanted to show you guys this to, to see if it'll change anyone's mind. Um, on how they view the PlayStation 5. A lot of people have been saying my videos been changing their mind, making them wanna um, get the console. I'm interested, I'm invested, I got mine on the way. I think they did a lot of good things for this console. It's definitely gonna be their best console yet, in my opinion. What do you guys think? If you guys are gonna get the PS5, if you're hyped, let me know down below. What's the best feature you've seen them adding to the console? What's, what's the best feature you've seen today on this UI? What's your favorite thing? What really stands out? What really um, makes a big difference for you? What, what makes you excited let me know down below in the comments thank you guys so much for watching like this video if you're excited for the playstation 5 if you want to see more content like this subscribe for more playstation ps5 content and more videos and news like that and subscribe for more call of duty content if you guys want to see call of duty thank you guys so much for watching please turn on that bell for post notifications because my videos ain't been popping up we gotta beat the youtube algorithm thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video be easy